Welcome to Slide Up Lift. We'll show you how to create this interactive agenda slide in PowerPoint. You can reveal more information about each point with just a click. To save time, download this template using the link in the description. Or if you'd like to do it yourself, keep watching. Let's start by creating a new blank slide in PowerPoint. Remove the placeholder text to have a clean slate. Go to the Shapes tab and select the oval shape. Hold Shift while drawing the oval to create a perfect circle. Duplicate the circle by pressing Ctrl Shift Command and dragging it to the right. Continue duplicating circles using the F4 key until you have a total of four circles. Add numbers inside each circle to create a numbered list. Select all circles and align them properly in the middle of the slide. Change the font by going to Home, then Font, and pick one from the list. We're going with Arial. Increase the font size and select Bold. Choose a color for the first circle and fill it. Repeat the coloring process for the remaining circles. Select all circles and remove their outlines for a cleaner look. Right click on the background and choose Format Background. The Format Background pane will appear on the right side. Click on Picture or Texture Fill. Click Insert and choose from a file to select your image. The image will now be applied as your background. To highlight the circles, we'll add a rectangle behind them. Select the rectangle and send it to the back by right-clicking and choosing Send to Back. With the rectangle selected, go to Format Shape and apply a gradient fill. Customize the gradient colors. Set a gradient preset and change the direction to linear left. Select the first gradient stop. Change its color to white and set transparency to around 60%. Make the second gradient stop white and 20% transparent. The last gradient stop should be around 25% transparent. Close the format shape pane. Remove the outline of the rectangle. Duplicate the template slide by pressing Ctrl D. Select the circles and make them a little smaller to accommodate content. Add the first topic content to the slide. Go to Shapes and select a text box. Copy and paste your topic content into the text box. Increase the font size and align the text within the box. Match the color of the header text to the circle by using the eyedropper tool. Cut the rectangle by pressing Ctrl X. Select the background, right click, and choose Format Background. Insert a background image that complements the topic. Insert the previously cut rectangle. Select the rectangle and send it to the back. Adjust the gradient colors in the rectangle to match the first topic circle. Add an icon related to the topic. Your first topic slide is complete. Duplicate this slide thrice so you have a slide for each point. Fade out the rest of the number circles on this slide. To do this, first make them white. In the Format Shape menu, set transparency to 60%. Go to slide 3 to create topic 2. Select the header, icon, and subheader and align them appropriately. Copy the header from your content file and paste it onto the slide. Similarly, copy and paste the subheader. Batch the color of the second topic circle to the header text. Delete the old icon and insert a new icon related to the second topic. Insert a background image for the second topic. 
Repeat these few steps to adjust the rectangle and gradient. Fade out the remaining number circles on this slide. Follow the same steps for the third and fourth topics. For the last topic, make sure to position the icon and text like so. Right align the text for this topic. Select the first topic circle and drag it to create a duplicate. Change the fill color of the duplicate circle to no fill. Remove the text from the original circle. Align the duplicate circles and color them. Enlarge the duplicated circle so it extends beyond your slide. Select the second slide and apply the morph effect to the transition. Link the first topic circle to slide two. Link the remaining circles to their corresponding slides. Select all slides and apply the morph effect to the transitions. Group the icon, header, and subheader on the first slide. Duplicate and move the group to the left side of the slide. Copy the content group of the second slide and paste it on the first slide. Move the pasted group to the right side of the first slide. Do the same for the remaining slides. Your animation is ready. Click on Slideshow to preview it. You can also skip the hassle of creating the slides from scratch and simply download them from Slide Up Lift. Check out the link in the description to get them now. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Slide Up Lift. Hit that bell icon to get notified for our next video. You can check out our channel for more PowerPoint tutorials.